Hi, I'm John Harrington, and we're going to break out and break down the wide variety of equipment we use to deliver images to our clients. Next, we're going to show you one of the equipment kits we use when we're traveling on assignment. Each kit is different and serves a very specific purpose, so let's take a look. Carts are critical to saving your back. We use a variety of carts and we've collected a number over the years. This is our carta bag cart. What's really nice about the carta bag cart is that it is small, made out of wire, and will really actually fit in an airline overhead. It's bungeed together now, but as we break it down, as we break it out, you'll see that the cart goes together. First thing it does is it becomes rigid at an angle. By becoming rigid at an angle, it means that it'll take the weight really well. Once it's rigid at an angle, we we'll, we'll of course load it like this. This thing raises up as, as high as you need you would ever need it to. What's also really great is you've got the two handles. These two handles allow you to steer it much better than a single handle would on most carts because you have the leverage you need. The cart locks in place, and then the bungees will go up and bungee around the equipment I really like the car to bag cart, especially when we're traveling light. The folks that brought us the car to bag also brought us the Cartmaster HD 500. This is an industrial cart that shrinks down to size like no other. It's amazing in its steel manufacture. It's got anodized aluminum down here so that the tongue will actually flip out. It's got air filled tires. It also, what's really nice about it also is that it, what it'll do is it'll, it's this size, which is the smallest it'll go. Pressing this button allows it to go larger. What's really nice about this, once we get from the smaller size, it actually will get much longer. Huge size cart. In addition, this handle will flip over and flip around. And now, cart in this size will work this way and for cases that are longer you can lay it past the tongue length strap it down ready to go then you take the cart and make it small again and that's the cart master HD 500 after we had some assistants complain about the weight of this cart, let me show you how much it weighs. Just the cart by itself weighs in at over 40 pounds. It's a heavy cart. We started to look around for another solution that might not be as industrial, but still could hold the equipment that we needed. We next turned to the rock and roller cart. The rock and roller cart weighs in at just over 30 pounds. So it's a 10 pound savings. So the Rock and Roll Multi-Cart is a really amazing cart. There are multiple configurations. You can get the knobby tires in the back. You can get rigid tires up here in front. We'd like to get the knobby tires all around because we're going off-roading with our carts. We want to make sure that you know, the, the wheels don't get stuck in the mud, quite literally. This cart is really nice in terms of its compactness. What's really nice is that this will flip up, hitting this wire. Do the same thing with this wire down here and you have a very small space to work in. You can actually buy a platform that will run across here and become a portable workspace where you can set a computer, a laptop, or, or other knickknacks, other pieces of accessories that you need on a shoot. In addition, even though you can't see it now, you'll see it in a second, this thing raises up to a very high height. In fact, at this, at this length, this will not actually fit into a standard size elevator. You actually need to make it slightly smaller. At about this size, it will actually fit in, an over, in a standard size elevator. What we tend to do in that case is leave the end rail down, and this is typically how we work with the cart. There's nice grip on here so things aren't sliding off. When you're done, taking the cart, bring it back together, it slides all back together, nice and neat. 
and that is a rock and roller multi-cart. Next up, I'm going to show you the gold standard of cart. It's called a Magliner. It's huge, it doesn't collapse down much, but boy, this is the gold standard. Movie sets all over the place. When space is not an issue, weight is not an issue, a Magliner. This one has an added tongue. It also has a felt covered deck. It's got pneumatic tires. It also has a flip-up set of rear wheels so that the Magliner, this too you can put a deck on if you wanted to, but as carts go, this cart is the gold standard. This is the Magliner. We don't use this that, much, that often anymore, but we have used it for a long time. It just got to be a little too much for us. So that's a look at the carts that we use and have used on the various assignments as we travel around, whether it's a local trip, a long distance trip, or a trip where we're getting on an airplane, taking a cart with us is really important because the airline carts, airport carts, how'd this get in here? Are just not enough when we get to our car.